there's obviously a tremendous achievement, but the season does feel disappointing for the reasons it that does, Paula said. It does, yeah. yeah. Agnelli but came out after that Ajax defeat and seemed adamant that, you know, Allegri was not in question, Allegri would be back next year, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. There's a year left on his contract after this one. Mm -hmm. Some people are set looking at this and saying, well, this is an opportunity. Why would you want to extend the guy? This is an opportunity to get rid and get somebody new. And I know for those those of us, well, one in particular here, who spends time on Juve's forum and is probably closer to the pulse of Juve fans, if you had to guess, what percentage of Juve fans want Allegri to stay? Maybe, honestly, I think about 30, 25. Really? So you're saying one out of three, one out of four Juve fans would like want him, him to stay? stay yeah. and the vast majority would want him to go. Yes, I do think so. That's what I feel the sense is that I get from social media. Why? And how do you feel? Um, I thought actually, interestingly enough, I've been a little bit... Um, I agree a lot in the sense that I've spoken about the fact that they're playing more with individual talents, sort of just pushing through and winning their individual duels these last two seasons where there hasn't been an actual style of play or philosophy or anything, you know, I mean, it's, it's not even pragmatic anymore. It's just try to do a better job, you know. Um, having said all of these things, I was reading an interview that Fabio Capello gave and he was talking about Allegri and the fact that people are so greedy. And I do think that, you know, when you look at the fact that Ronaldo took five seasons before he won the Champions League with Real Madrid, and this is a Real Madrid side that can afford to buy anyone and whomever and whatever, and they could put anyone they want in charge. They took five seasons, three in a row. They came out in the last 16 against the likes of Lyon and Roma, one of them. It takes time to win the Champions League. PSG have shown that to us. And while Allegri hasn't always been courageous or played a special style of football, my argument is always, who would do a better job and the names that people always often throw about and this is only on social media are names like Gasparini, Simone Inzaghi, Antonio Conte none of these three have proved to me that they're people that you would trust the Champions League with and, and Pep Guardiola is the other one Pep Guardiola barring being a brand and somebody who can actually afford to, to play beautiful football and he does do that he hasn't shown himself, neither at Bayern nor at Manchester City, of do, being capable of winning a Champions League. He hasn't reached the semi-finals with Manchester City. He concedes an abysmal amount of goals. And barring actually winning the league impressively by playing stylish football, are Juventus really into, it, into getting a ninth Scudetto in a row? Or is it more important to actually have a guy who can guarantee at least a change in, when it comes to the Champions League, at least, I don't know, experience. If you say Zinedine Zidane is going to come in, I'll tell you he knows Juventus. And while he's not a good tactician in the same way that Pep Guardiola is, and he certainly hasn't had the experience, at least he's won three in a row. At least he understands Juventus. He's been there. He's a player there, and it's a team that's close to his heart. So I understand that a lot more. But Simone and Zaghi, I mean, what, what, why would you well, throw that name in there? Based I on mean, what? There's obviously a mix of names. You're describing very attacking managers like Gasparini or... Or Pep and guys like and even Conte Inzaghi and Inzaghi. is attacking one. Mm -hmm. well, I think a lot less so. Um, but I think the argument. I mean, I don't know how you feel about it, Paolo, but for me, Pep Guardiola is a far better manager than any of these people we've mentioned, mm -hmm. and including Zidane. And the fact that Zidane was at Juve 16 years ago, or sorry, 18 years ago. I'm not sure how relevant that is, but... He's a far better manager in terms of style of play, but he's not a far better manager in terms of what he's won. I kind of feel like I'm sometimes loaded when we talk about beautiful, stylish football. Why don't we just talk about it attacking football, mm -hmm. okay. which doesn't need to be beautiful or stylish. I mean, uh, when Conte was good with Italy, and that little caveat there, and he took the game to the opposition, yeah. he imposed himself on the opposition. Courage. And this is something that Allegri talked about too, and this is what Allegri has failed to deliver the last two years. He knows it's there. Mm. Mm. He knows it's necessary. But he can't do it. He's not one of those guys who, you know, buries his head in the sand and says, no, 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 look at the results, I'm fine, right? Mm. He says, we have to do this, guys. But then he doesn't do it. And I think that might be why people All right, want great. to change. Absolutely. You know, it is. It is I would still take Allegri over these guys that you mentioned, mm. except for Pep. I, I would have Pep over, uh, over Allegri. But 
Good neutral perspective, and before we move on, <coughs> no, I, I uh, yeah, I, I essentially <coughs> agree in terms of the names. You said, Paolo, tell me, huh. you're a neutral. I need, I well, need I impartial advice. Look, I've said it plenty of times on here. I'm, I'm a big admirer of, of Allegri. I, I think that so this, I think it. this season has not gone well, and I think that, as I've also said before on here, there is always. Um, a particular challenge that faces any manager when they've been a club for a certain amount of time, which is how do you keep that? How do you keep that sharpness? Because part of that um, imposing yourself, that ability to, to command games, I think comes from an energy that is a bit harder to define than X's and O's, right? It's a bit harder to pin down than saying just, okay, you got your tactics spot on for this one. And I think that that was exactly what Conte brought in year one to Juventus. Conte brought in the sort of mindset of we're going to kick the door down and, right. and, and, and bulldoze everybody. But it's and, difficult to keep And he did going. it for three years. And then even he, I think, felt like it was time it but had to go. And Allegri, an exhaustive coach. Allegri is a different style of coach, which you, know, you, you hope gives him more longevity. But, but I, I feel like this season... With Ronaldo coming in, it should have felt fresher than it did. And it it should have felt okay, more. Okay, so Sorry, what do you I do? Have to, I, have, yeah. I have to because this is really like it's going to just boil underneath me. So I, 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 I must interrupt and go, Pep. This why Pep? Why is Pep a better option than Allegri? Okay. Well, this guy. Can, wait, can we get on. his view first? No, I have to continue this. Ah, yeah, because it's going to kill me if I don't get this out. Yeah. <laughs> Like what's one thing that's been brilliant about Allegri is despite all of this, and I'll, I'm with you along the line, I'm disappointed, I don't think he plays with courage, all of that, yeah, too pragmatic, too individual, okay, but also bear, bear in mind that this guy has lost and regenerated the team quite a lot. Everyone's gone crazy because they've spent 100 million to buy Ronaldo. May I also remind you that the great Pep has spent over 600 million and he hasn't gotten his team into the semi-finals and not only that, they lose on a ridiculous amount of goals conceded. Again, and Allegri is better. Every year he spends less and does better in the Champions League with the ridiculous squad that he does have. He's lost Pogba, he's lost Vidal, he's lost Marquisio, he's lost Tevez, he's lost Alvaro Morata. Well, Every year there's a new guy. He's playing he with Mandzukic. to lose to be fair. Lost uh, Mandzukic, <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't put it lost Marquisio. Whatever. It, to lose no, because he wanted assurances that he couldn't provide him. So he couldn't <laughs> provide those. But it wasn't... He chose to... Marquisio was dumped by, I mean... He, he yeah, really wasn't. All right, all right. But, but Gab, he wasn't. You, you, but you, you, you're, pulling, you're pulling out one okay, thread out yeah, of it. Okay, yeah, exactly. By the way, this is the pedantic okay. <laughs> methods. No, but, but, but actually, I mean, you know, take Matt Keys, you're out. Okay, here you are. Right. We'll take Matt Keys, you're out. I think part of the appeal about Pep But Pep is, is not a better manager by any stretch of the imagination when it comes to Europe. I'm sorry.